When I get forgetful or I miss a meeting or I do something like that, I have this whole reaction and then I get stuck in my head or I can get stuck in my head in this, I'm a loser, I'm a failure, no one's gonna like me. I'm absorbed in this narrative that I'm just a piece of shit and I'm a loser. For me, it was simply, I don't want to feel like shit anymore. I hate this and I'm so sick and fucking tired of it that either my life's going to get really dark, really bad, and really beyond words, or I'm going to start doing something different. For me, it was as simple as, I don't ever want to feel like how I used to feel ever again. And I drew a line in the sand. And that's what we need to do. Hi. If you are watching this, or if you are sitting with me in a room, it's obvious that you are at a point where you want something to be different, or you know how things are going is not okay. You are no longer ignoring the little voice in the back of your head that's saying, you need to stop doing this, or you shouldn't be doing this, or you should be doing these other things, or you need to change, or whatever it is that you're doing is not okay. And if you would only stop, or if you would only do something else, then perhaps your life would be better, or perhaps you wouldn't be suffering so badly. I know for me, whenever I became aware of that voice at a pretty young age, because I started treating myself quite poorly at a young age. That voice got so loud, and no matter how much I stuffed it away with drugs or alcohol or bad behaviors, it wouldn't go away. It just kept coming back and getting stronger and stronger. And finally, at some point, I couldn't ignore it anymore. If you are at that place, or you are not at that place, wherever it is that you are on this journey, I hope that I can accompany you, or I can guide you, or encourage you, or push you hard, or be very kind and gentle, whatever it is that you need in order to move in that direction. Because certainly staying where we are is not acceptable. And there's a tremendous amount of relief that happens when we cross that bridge, or when we stop stuffing. Acknowledging a problem and not doing anything about it is almost worse than still pretending that everything's okay. Part of this journey is learning to come into relationship with the way things are, as opposed to the way we wish things were, or think they ought to be, or what other people say they should or ought to be. So you can just say, I don't want my life to be like this. I don't know what the future's gonna hold. I don't per se know exactly what I want, but I certainly know I don't want this. Pain is inevitable. Some people would argue that pain is the only real thing in the universe for humans. We, we can't clearly describe other experiences, but we can clearly describe pain. So after acknowledging that, accepting that, and saying you don't want it to be like this anymore, then, the door opens, or then the path clears somewhat. And at least, perhaps you don't know where you're going, but you know where you don't want to be. And so you don't want to go that way, you're going anywhere but that way, which is usually that way, and that's a good place to be, because you know where you're going. And without knowing, in some sense, where you're going, or what you're going away from, it's very hard to move forward. I think it's very important to lay a foundation or a framework upon which this idea of why, why do I want to change, can rest or can be built. Because if we don't dig a deep foundation for why and for how we're going to change, then when life comes and inevitably kicks us in the nuts or in the face or in the privates, then we don't have that foundation upon which we won't crumble. I am very grateful that you watched to the end of this video. Please click one of the boxes to watch more of our content and otherwise have a great day. Peace out.